I feel like I'm officially in my early stages of labor. Um, I feel like the contractions are just now starting to pick up. But last night I had a couple that kept me up and then I woke up. Um, they kind of like faded away. I would get one like every 30 minutes. Um, I would still like be able to do things around the house. Now I feel like... Um, they're starting to like intense and I'm actually starting to track them because um, last time I was at my OB she said I was two centimeters dilated and this is my fourth baby so I feel like I don't want to show up to the hospital too late and also I feel like I'm leaking a little bit of amniotic fluid it keeps like coming out like liquid keeps coming out but I'm not really sure if that's what it is um so we'll see where this takes us but I'm pretty sure this is like the start of the labor um tomorrow I will be exactly 39 weeks pregnant so this baby is deciding to show up a little bit earlier. I feel like, I'll show you guys my belly. I feel like the baby dropped so much and um, I feel like a lot of pressure down there. I'm getting one right now and I really want to start timing them. Why, why do they have ads on these things? Now I can't time my contraction. Oh, great. Really, like I can't time my contraction because of this ad and I can't skip it. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, I might have to find a different app, but I have been kind of like starting to um, time them so we'll see um my husband is at work right now um his job is literally five minutes away from our place so he could be here any minute whenever i need him but our mom she's going to be watching our kids and she's 40 minutes out so we really need to like time things accordingly um so we you know have time to still drive to the hospital it's also snowing out so yeah but Currently, I'm still able to function and you know move around so I'm just making some like early dinner for the kiddos we're just gonna have like french fries and maybe like avocado toast or something um but yeah I will keep you guys updated I'm super excited um to meet this little girl I'm just so happy that she's deciding to come a little bit earlier and now way past her due date so that's a good news. The last contraction that I just had was so painful. Um, it was the most intense one I've had so far. So I texted my husband, he's on the way home. He's also texting, um, calling his mom so she can start coming. Um, she's gonna be with the kiddos. And um, we'll see when the next one comes, but this one was really intense. So um, yeah, I feel like she is coming today. I will keep you guys updated. Yes, making a little pit stop before we have <laughs> this little baby out so got myself a little smoothie do you want to just park for me oh that's there's another one timing them oh it's worse when you drive it is officially baby time we are admitted in the hospital i got hooked up to IV and they are starting me on pitocin. We have baby daddy here. You ready for your fourth baby? I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, so um, we came in to get checked because I felt like my water was leaking and um, it's already been kind of like long enough so I wanted to just double check and sure enough they checked me and my water was leaking and they admitted, admitted me right away. When they admitted me, I did have like contractions, but um, they're now like consistent, so they're starting me on phytosin, and we're gonna have baby today. My water here, everything is good so far. I'm not in too much pain, but I am planning on getting epidural as soon as, you know, the contractions start to pick up. But 
right now I'm feeling good I am three centimeters dilated well when I got to the hospital she checked me I was three centimeters dilated and um, yeah I'll keep you guys updated right now like I said it's March 22nd 8:56. Um, tomorrow I will be exactly 39 weeks pregnant so we'll see maybe the baby comes today if it's a fast labor or maybe tomorrow so we'll see what do you think today or tomorrow yeah, I think maybe like tomorrow. Also, this is our little room. There's my hospital bag. There's a baby's little bed. So cute. And it's just like a small little room. I have a little table. Chapstick, I already had to use it so many times. Is a must. My phone. Hubby is. You look relaxed. I'm researching names okay let me know what you come up with <laughs> right now while we have some time we're trying to decide on baby's name because as of right now we don't have a name that we're like, we set on options. we have options but okay tell them our options okay so for first name we have amelia amelia anel anel or annabelle. annabelle so we like names with A because we have Adeline, A, so we want another girl's name with A. So Annabelle, Anel, Amelia. So far. So far. And we need a middle name, so. The middle name, I'm thinking, could be Noel. Noel or Rose. A Rose. Yeah. Our original was Rose, but he just thought of Noel. Yeah. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Well, Amelia Noel kind of doesn't flow. Annabelle Noel floats. And now Noel. Maybe that was too much. <laughs> it kind of like grinds. Anel Noel, like you wouldn't ever call Anna. Anel Noel. Our original. Like so our first original name was Amelia Rose. Yeah. Annabelle Rose. Anel Rose. Yeah, sounds nice. Which one? Oh, <laughs> it's already past 10 o'clock and they just bumped my Pitocin to level 6 and my contractions are starting to pick up. They're like every 4 or 5 minutes and they're getting stronger. So, things are happening and um, yeah, I'm just sitting on yoga ball. Um, trying to like move around before I get my epidural and yeah hopefully baby will be here soon I'm so excited um, yeah so I'll update you guys in a little bit it is technically already the next day it is almost one o'clock and I got my epidural like about an hour and a half ago and um, we're just waiting for me to dilate a little bit more I got the epidural when I was five centimeters dilated and I definitely am starting to feel a lot more pressure down there so I feel like baby might be coming soon but I'm just trying to like rest um, we're just like watching some TV it's pretty late I'm kind of like really tired um, but I'm also super excited for the baby all right guys we had our little girl I'll show you guys her in a minute she's taking a little nap but it's already the next day today's the 24th we had her yesterday on the 23rd and the labor went really smooth um they put me on pitocin and then i progressed really quickly and then i delivered her literally in like two three pushes and she came out so perfect we're obsessed we actually already picked out a name took us a while to decide on the name but i think we finally picked out the name and i just took a couple of like announcements photos that i could share and post um but yeah we're just so so happy um, my husband just went to pick up the kiddo so they can come and meet their little sister so they should be coming here shortly I also just took a shower which I love taking like post labor showers because it makes you feel so much better and just look put together so I just did that put on a little bit of makeup because I think we'll take 
couple pictures when the kiddos get here and yeah so that is the little update i also didn't really vlog much yesterday even though i really wanted to it was just really hard you know i just gave birth to a little baby i'm trying to adjust to a newborn the doctors nurses coming in to check on me and the baby and you know obviously the last thing on my mind is like taking out camera and vlogging so um i finally have a chance i feel like i'm put together the baby's taken care of the nurses and doctors are kind of like you know coming every like hour or like every 30 minutes so they're now like in and out constantly so now i can like you know continue on vlogging and sharing our hospital stay i think we might be discharged today i'm not really sure um i'm good to go but they're still wanting to monitor her we'll see how that goes they said it might be today or it could be possibly tomorrow so we'll see but i'll keep you guys updated she is snug as a bug taking a little power nap all right guys so we are finally being discharged to go home it is almost four o'clock and i'm just waiting for my husband to come back up with the car seat i'm gonna change her into her going home outfit and um, sign some papers and we'll be ready to go home i'm so excited you guys to go like back to my home to my room to my bed i miss my home so much um but yeah the baby girl is doing good i'm feeling good so we're ready to go i also never showed you guys um told you her name but this is her little prop that I used for um, her, her announcement photos. And her name is Amelia. We wanted a name that started with A, so it rhymes with Adeline. Um, but yeah, her name is Amelia. And she was born March 23rd, weighted 6 pounds, 14 ounces. Um, and she was 20 inches long. Perfect little baby. She also came out with so much hair, you guys, if you can see she was um she definitely surprised me i did not expect her to have so much hair on her head i think she's the only one that came out with this much hair i don't think anybody else had full head of hair not like this at least so that was definitely a surprise but she is so cute just taking a little quick little power nap she's being such a good girl so precious so yeah we're gonna pack up and start heading home we are finally getting ready to go home it is past four o'clock and i just got her outfit going home outfit ready my going home outfit ready and she's just taking a little nap before we head out also adeline brought this little bunny for her sister so cute with her name on it and then we got her car seat here and we are getting ready to go home Looks so snug in here. Do you like your car seat? Yeah? You ready to go home? <laughs> She's like, where am I? <laughs> Let's go home, princess. Oh, she's already out. Yeah, what are you 